like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe, and join the membership for exclusive content in the description. Miss Alana. Yes, master. Face me. Yes, master. Face me. Turn your body toward me. Do not look me directly in the face. You know better than that girl. Yes, master. Hello, gentlemen, submissive wives, future submissive wives, and angry estrogen's mad about estrogen's becoming submissive wives why because that means that they can no longer compete because estrogen's know what men want an estrogen who adds to man already established life and supports his direction he's going and births him children and he brings the peace to his life a man naturally always is going to create peace in his life okay but you're supposed to add to that that is the role of a wife it is not be a word just friends and now that obviously gets added on to that but even men a dominant man his best friend is not his wife this is just the reality now her best friend is him but his best friend is not a wife because what a man brings to the table it's completely different than what an estrogen brings to the table. It's just the reality. You are my wife. Now, I'm your best friend, but my best friend is somewhere down the road. <laughs> He's a man. He's the equivalent to my mental capacity. He has skills like me. And uh, yeah, that's that's how that's supposed to go. Okay, but estrogens know what we want. We want an, a, a submissive estrogen who we go, honey, I need you to go wash the car. Honey, I need you to make this business call. Honey, I need you to go make uh, go walk the dogs. I need you to go clean this clean that that is what they're supposed to be doing the little small meticulous things in a man's life is what estrogens are supposed to be handling that and with no complaint with no trying to manipulate the situation and try to say i gotta always do shut the hell up. <laughs> like, 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 do what you're supposed to do man's providing protecting and he's doing what he's supposed to be doing as a man you need to be submitting as an estrogen other than that don't get married Okay, go around, sleep around with everybody, especially if you're not a virgin. I, I don't know how estrogens, well, they're rational, but I don't know how men are tolerating estrogens show up not being traditional virgin, talking about she wants a provider. Like, that's just utterly ridiculous. All right. So, but let's get into this. The importance, the title of the thumbnail, something along the lines of the importance of um, estrogens calling you Lord, Master, um, King, um, and things like that. All right, and maybe whatever other name you want to be called. Estrogen brain is very short-sighted. They forget why they're submitting. They forget that men built... Estrogens have literally forgot or never even cared to learn the history of how civilizations were created, the wars it took, the hard work it took, the many lives that got destroyed in the process. See, they don't care. They're like, they don't, they don't care. They show up once everything's pretty and easy, then they go equal rights. But see, in that, in that jungle, estrogens weren't like, no, men, we shall battle the lions and the elephants. Equality. See, and, and that's what, see, when you give this species true equal rights, they're always just going to manipulate anyone who doesn't understand psychology to where they don't have to do anything and just gain. Right. But see, our men understood this. Right. And men in Islam. Right. They understand this to this day. Oh, you adultery over there. Oh, uh, 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 I don't want to say, um, flogged in public. Oh, might lose your life. Oh, see, it's serious over there. It's extremely serious over there. And guess what estrogens don't do? Equal rights, we shall battle for it. No, they submit forever and they will continue to forever submit in the Middle East to Islam. Want to know why? Because they don't have power, right? It's only estrogens only get tough when they know they can call a man to come and protect them. And that's why estrogen is just on a whole level. It's truly hard for a lot of men to just truly respect them as equal because they don't truly want equality. I don't see garbage truck estrogens. I don't I don't I don't I don't see that. I don't see estrogens going to picking up the trash. Why not? Because see, life isn't equality. Estrogens won't pick that on the fall position. All right. So but the importance of getting them to understand, you know, you relationships don't work when it's equal it, 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 it with estrogens it doesn't work with male friendships it does with estrogens it just it just doesn't work e even e either dating them or friendships with them you have to like treat them like a child like you have to give them more rights because they can't keep up truly she's going to just be emotional and a i just had a recent situation with this estrogen who she's an estrogen 
And I al- I almost told this at should I even say this? Um Nah. <laughs> Because I might say this to a national it, it, I No. Okay, but... It, she's an estrogen. So she didn't understand something. And I'm like, let me explain this to you. And literally, it's going to work out 100% even better. Right? And she just is an estrogen. So she just got completely emotional. And just did not at all want to listen to logic or reason at all. At all. Didn't want to listen to it. <laughs> right? Because they're estrogens, man. They, they when, when they get emotional, there's just no more logic and just reason. All right? And that's why we have to lead them and we have to guide them. So you have to keep reminding them with them calling you king and master and lord and things like that of why they're submitting because they forget. You have to put them in some type of situation where they always remember that, like, oh, yeah, I'm very emotional and irrational. And he, see, and what, you know what we used to do? When estrogens got emotional and irrational, we would spank them. We would just spank them off of that alone. Because it's like, okay, if you don't stop being emotional and irrational, I'm just going to give you, like, spankings and they're going to leave some stings. So I don't think you're going to want that, so stop crying, right? You're crying and getting emotional about nothing. So she'll think in her mind, Okay, like, I want to be emotional, just cry. But uh, he's going to leave stings, and that, that kind of hurt. And those aren't, like, the, the play stings and stuff like that. So let me stop being emotional. So you'll be like, do you want me to spank you hard? And then she'll be like, okay, I'll stop. Right? And <laughs> you can't explain them to logic. Like, being weak emotionally, that leads to a chaotic life. And, 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 and logic, logic, logic. They don't. That's just not how they operate. But every creature, no matter the intelligence level, understands pain. So we used to just spank them if they're getting too emotional. Just spank them until they stop being emotional. And stop crying, right? And now she's like, all right, I'll stop crying. <laughs> this is just how they think, okay? But when they call you king, they're remembering, okay, yeah, that's why I submit. I get overly emotional and he leads me. He guides the home. Oh, yeah, I call him king. He's the provider, protector. See, if she has to always say these words, she has to always remember why she's calling you that. And they forget, man. They forget anything. Estrogens forget very quick what anyone else has done for them. Very quick uh, how much times they've done uh, those things for them. Very quick who built civilizations. Very quick who won a war. Very quick who gave them rights. Very quick. They forget very quick. So you have to always keep them in those positions. When you get married to them, you have to always put them to work, man. Always. They have to be doing something. You can't let them just think they can sit around and just say other people just are messing up and doing bad things. She's washing the car. She's mowing the lawn. She's um doing something. She's making a business call. You got to put them to work. She is your secretary, right? She's earning her keep as being treated like the queen and the king dumb because the king runs the kingdom. But she's putting in work. Yeah, she's tired sometimes. Yeah, you got to wake up. You got to make me uh, breakfast early in the morning and things like that. You're a stay-at-home wife, okay? Suck it up, buttercup. Get it together. You have a very easy life. A man has to sit here every day. From the second I wake up, instantly. All right, how do we make the money? How do we move this here? How do we get this here? Okay, here. Okay, there. This, okay. And then the mindset today will be from the second I wake up. Estrogens are just emotional when they wake up and thinking of feelings. So they don't understand the life of a man and the difficulty of a man. We can't lose. Estrogens can lose every single day. If a man loses, no one comes and saves a man. Right? Estrogen can bend over, put stuff in her mouth, and she can survive. A man, we have to literally go and win. Or we we fall behind in society and we're left in the ruins. A real man. Okay? So let's get into this. Just um, basically, you know, putting estrogens in her place. Spanking. Very important for estrogens for them. Just sometimes, even if she's being a great wife, maintenance spanker. I did a video on that. Right? It just reminds her because maybe she was at 100% of remembering why you're, why you're the king and lead her, but she's starting to slip to like 95% because she's just emotional and, you know, they have short term memories. So you just spank her randomly. She's like, oh, okay, he leads me. <laughs> he leads me. I was starting to forget a little bit. Okay, all right. It's just very good, very crucial and holding them accountable. If you do not hold estrogens accountable, their default position is never to become accountable. It's just is what it is. It's like a lion. If you don't feed a lion, lion's default position will be to eat you. He goes, oop, you're, you're on the menu. <laughs> right, that's the default. Now, yeah, you can live with lions and stuff like that if you feed them. Right, if you train them right. But you meet a lion in the wild, he's eating you. Because that's default position of estrogen. And default position of estrogen is to not take accountability. 
right? And and estrogen's life too. This is just very important. They're always doomed to be unhappy because b- 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 because of a lot of cores that they're born with, like not taking accountability. Estrogens chase temporary happiness, so they think if I never take accountability, that means I'm great and happier. But you're actually over time going to be the most miserable in the room until the day you leave Earth. Because you're just crazy and delusional and now you have dementia because your whole life was just being wrong, never taking accountability. So your brain goes, look, we don't know left from right anymore, up from down. She just made us think whatever. She made us think red was blue. So dementia now. (laughs) I truly believe that leads to dementia when you just never take accountability. You, it leads to craziness. Every, it's everyone else's fault. You don't have to grow and things like that. So they mess up their lives where you just can't recover anymore. But men, we take accountability. Do you understand? So and, and we don't chase materialistic things to be happy. Materialistic things will never make you happy. But estrogens are destined to chase materialistic things. Uh, Arthur, multiple books talking about this, but like Arthur Schizenauer talks about this in his book. I think I, he, he wrote that in the 1800s, how it's just their destiny to chase, uh, chase materialistic things. And that just always leads to misery and that they're always miserable. See a man, give a man one bedroom or two bedroom home, a little small bed. He needs no furniture. He's at bliss happiness estrogen she's not content she needs big nightstand big bed big this big that and she hates life because that's not true happiness true happiness is being able to be anywhere and you can find the joys of life and estrogens can't do that they got to drive this live here have this looking like this all right so but let's get into this all right i think that was just important to say uh estrogens you know they didn't submit to a man and uh their mother is putting them in their place for not doing that not appreciating that man built earrings man built clothes man built background man cleared the environment from diseases insects and animals the estrogens forget all of those things they just they just think life just appeared magically Ooh, my mic is off let's get into it you, you have not submitted to your, your husband Spank time. I love you. Are next. Take this submit. Nè, tụi bay phá tao phải không? Hả? Buổi này bay biết là tao mất biết bao nhiêu tiền không? Trời ơi là trời. Tao để này đã xin. Tao vào đây để được vui được sướng. Vậy mà tụi bay làm cho người ta đi mất tiêu. Tụi bay làm gì cái kiểu gì vậy? Hả? Mày. Đó xin. Mày dám hùng không? Mày dám số người ta? Ba tụi bay biết. Hai người đó là không? Người ta là khách vip đó. Tụi bay làm như vậy làm sao người ta dám tới đây chơi nữa? And that was just regular, man. That was just regular. The, the, the plot to this was she wasn't submitting to her husband, right? And she started disrespecting her husband, gossiping about her husband and things like that. But her mother submits to a husband and understands the importance of a husband. So she put her daughters in place and spanked them, right? For disobedience, for disrespect. You got to submit to your husband. All right, so now let's look at this. All right, this right here. Okay, so the importance of estrogen saying master, yes, sir, Lord. That is just estrogens left to their own devices. A lot of times just won't become good people. Now, if they're born in a traditional society, they will because men don't tolerate anything less and that you can't get a man unless you are behaving like a good human being. Okay, as I said, estrogens are very short sighted. They need to know who is the boss. Doesn't work when we're equal. It just it just doesn't. Look at America. Equal, equal, equal. I can do everything a man could. 80% divorces. Estrogens are filing 80% of the time. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. You need to get with a man and go, he is our leader. That is when it works. It wasn't randomly like that in the world everywhere because random. And then marriages randomly stay together randomly back then. <laughs> It's because that's the only estrogens do not like feeling like they're better than their man or they can be better than their man. A lot of times she, you are better than her. You ha, she has to know you're better than her. You're smarter than her. You're stronger than her. It's the only way it works. That is when they're like, OK, daddy, that's when they submit. That's when they just follow your lead. That's when everything works between wife and husband. It does not work when she thinks I can do everything he can do. It doesn't work. Every single time I've seen an estrogen go, I lead a man and I'm better than it. It never works. They're miserable. They hate life. It always, always, every single time because that's not their natural position. So let's get into this. 
um probably a little blurred on, on on your side okay but let's get into this estrogen being put in her place and it's great for the world michelana Thanks. so what does she say so he goes michelana and she goes yes master now this obviously can be you know you can do this as a kink thing you know uh play in the bedroom type of thing but really man it really should be like this in everyday life man and estrogens will go oh my goodness i am the happiest i've ever been i feel the most feminine i've ever been if they're doing things like this if they know they estrogens are comfortable knowing that they have to submit they, they are like like they're comfortable in that position knowing others are taking care of everything they're not comfortable when they lead, man. That's when they're all stressed out. That's when they're all mad and angry and emotional wrecking balls. And that's when it all goes to chaos. But when they know I just submit to my Lord and my King, when they are like that, that's when they're at happiness. You can just tell they're just very feminine. They have no problem cooking, cleaning. They're not complaining. They're not nagging. They're not doing any of those things. Okay, so her going, yes, master, that's very that's very important for, obviously, her, for the reason I explained for estrogens, but also for the man. Because a man instinctively wants to lead his home. It's his natural position to lead his home. It was our natural position to lead countries, societies, villages, which is why we always did it. That's our natural natural our natural what's the word position it's just the reality estrogen's natural position if you study history has always been to submit that's the reality so she goes yes master and that makes you know it makes a man feel feel good so you see her face it makes a man feel good Put it down a little bit um knowing he leads his home and she just submits right and it's like yeah i got a wife that knows her place and with you doing that your man will never want to go anywhere so let's place back in michelana Face yes, master. Me. Face. So he goes, face me. She hesitantly faces her. I mean, faces him, but then faces him. Like a good estrogen, man. Men are looking for obedience and wives, man. We're not looking for partners. I, I know this takes a lot of IQ points for estrogens, but why would we pick you as a partner over our male friends as a partner? When men built everything on planet Earth, we were late more with men and men are better. Why would I pick you as a partner? You're not even qualified to be my partner. It's just a reality. You're emotional. I can't trust you under stress. If you throw if you throw a ball at an estrogen, you go, quick, catch! Like, she'll just drop the ball. And I'm just like, like, man, be like, ah! Oh. Be like, no, good, good work. <laughs> Fellow friend. You'd be like, of course, I am always on guard for life. Estrogen will literally let ball land on her face, and she'll just scream, man. Like, they're not built for pressure they're not built for any just try it a catch <laughs> it'll, just, it'll just fall on the face man like they're not you're not built it, it feels good to say you can be our partner it's like oh my emotions feel better now but you're built to be a wife right through that if you want to look at partnerships like that but you're not our partner that's not what you are face me turn your body toward me do not look me directly in the face you know better than that girl Okay, so he goes, turn to me, face me, but he, but don't look me in my face. So all of this is just her understanding her position. Do you understand her position in this marriage, her position in this relationship? And that is when estrogens are great wives, when they know their position, which is following a man. It, it's, it's, the, it's the only way. So these little things, these little exercises get, puts her getting used to understanding her role right and understanding obedience you're training her obedience and that's what every man wants out of an estrogen not a partner right i can get a dog a dog will probably be a better partner we're being honest <laughs> because because the partnerships with estrogens doesn't mean making good decisions it just means existing Right. And dogs are better to hang around a lot of times. It doesn't nag, doesn't complain and is loyal. It doesn't leave you because someone else has better Scooby snacks. Yes, master. Yes, master. OK. No, oh, yes, that's master. How you reply to me at all times. Yes, master. Very yes, master. good. OK, let's see what you got. Shake. Oh, got to mute that. Shake him real good for me. Let's see. The, let's see a shake. All right, we're muting all of this. How do you respond? Yes, master. Show me a shake. I mean, a real. OK, so. He want probably blurring a lot of stuff out right now, but so he wants her to so he so basically this whole exercise is okay. He showed he has her mind. Okay, she's obedient to him, right? Yes, master. Yes, sir. Does what he says. 
And then he's showing he has her body as well. And this is the reality of what men want. An estrogen's mind and her body. It's just the truth. <laughs> and both belong to him. Okay, so he's now showing that he has her body. What does every man even talk to estrogens for? Because they have the body of an estrogen. Okay, that's just the reality. Which is why it was very easy for estrogens to get married. They just had to cook, clean, be born in estrogen. Men had to actually go and develop something. <laughs> okay, actually become something. Estrogens, estrogens are born, men are men become. Okay, so he's showing he's getting her through the exercise after exercises of he has her mind that he has her body which is what men desire so now he's telling her what to do with her body for him to please him and that's the role of an estrogen an estrogen should be happy that a man wants to sleep with you number one and then number two uh that your body belongs only to one man an estrogen wants to belong to someone 100 percent. you'll shake shake those things so she's showing off her her, her her uh do not look at her me. body so that's another thing as well too because this is like he it's like his, let me use the right word for this. Um, how do I want to word this? She is. <laughs> uh, how do I want to say this? She belongs to him. I think that's just kind of how I want to word it. I want to say another word, but I won't. She belongs to him right he has her mind he has her body right and now don't look at me as well and th that's just the thing like she is one of his possessions and a man protects his possessions his dog his home his car his life he protects his possessions she's one of his possessions a man wants to have an estrogen in his possession a, a real man typically okay this is just the reality of how it goes okay any man that's out here and I got beta males, you know, that, that love tuning in, hating every day, right? But the, the, S, the, the, the man that makes estrogens, you know, waterfally downstairs, it's the dominant guy. It's the guy who will do this to them, like, in the bedroom and has the confidence to lead them like this. You going equal, equal, equal to estrogens, man, you're not making her waterfall because that's not even her nature. Which is why it's like being spanked, choked, somebody being spit on, golden showered, all that type of stuff. All of that is putting her in the position of possession and you run her, right? And you are the leader and you are the guider and that turns estrogens on, on. What do you so not looking at him, you know, it's basically this whole thing of like, you know, she, she obeys his leadership. And what's going on? You know, he's the complete authority, and she follows willingly. You say? Yes, master. So she Shake said, yes, thing. master. Shake him real good. Show him yeah. body. Man wants to be like, this is my possession of estrogen body. Closer. What do Walks you closer. say? Yes, master. You're getting close to some punishment, girl. Okay, so she keeps forgetting to say master. And uh, yes, master. And then she's getting close to some punishment. And the punishment is whatever the man decides. All of this keeps her in the mind frame of man leads me. And they're turned. She is utterly turned on by this type of stuff. That's what they like. Shake them. Possession of her body. All right. You which, which, which is why men prefer estrogens that are, that are virgins because it's a possession type of thing. See, when your body belongs to everybody. See, now it's not our possession. Now we don't care about it. <laughs> do you understand now we don't you know it's everybody's body you know but see when it's like our possession see we care way more about it sit back down facing me tells her to sit back down we have to have a discussion yes master young lady yes master how do you respond to everything i say yes master you do yes master lay back down now okay so lays down so in possession of her body and her mind. What do you say? Yes, master. All right. Wiggle them with your hands. <coughs> Wiggle your with your hands. And how do you reply, darling? Yes, master. Shake with your hands. Yeah, your so I don't know what I'm muting or not. There we go. Beautiful. And how do you respond? Well, the training of an estrogen into a great wife. If you can get her to do all of those things, she's going to forever be a great wife.
Okay, and that's just the reality. That that is what a man wants. Okay, it's just the truth, man. A partner, the males are better partners. <laughs> like I know our essence want to be partners with us, but like us choosing to be partners with them is just like you know what it's like. It's like if you're playing basketball and it's like the people that suck go, hey, we wanna be on the same team. It's like, hey, man, <laughs> fall back. <laughs> I'm not picking you as a partner. Do you understand? Now you can be great you have you know positions in the sense of like we need gatorade right you can play positions but but not positions on the court right but if i'm going to pick a partner it's going to be my equal and how is your equal a species that never built a civilization just the reality never won a war so you know he trained her pretty good she's going to forever stay married to that guy um and she's utterly turned on by that guy. And estrogens want a lot. I'd say the majority want a dynamic like that. They just don't know how to get a man to do that. Especially now in, in the West. Every every man's simping. Uh, paying five ninety nine for OnlyFans. When you can just look up estrogens with, with, without a tire on online. I just don't understand that. You know, uh, So men worship estrogens now in the West. Right, and that's why I can't wait to go overseas and do videos overseas because just the complete different mentality of men. I guarantee, like in Europe, they're not buying OnlyFans. Like they look at that as completely just just foolishness. And in a lot of those places in Europe, uh, prostitution is just legal. So if you just really just want hold, you just go and get hold. Right, for I think uh, I think it's like fifty or like sixty or something like that. Right, so it doesn't even make sense to buy an OnlyFans. And estrogens, like, and estrogens have to bring so much more to the table. Because, see, if you legalize prostitution, what ends up happening is estrogens, they try to act like they bring other things to the table. But now you, you can't hide behind, you know, you're only bringing whole. So now they have to submit and have to be housewives. Because a man could just go from 40, 50, 60 uh, in Europe, apparently. You could just go over there and then you get whole. So now they go, okay, what food do you want? <laughs> what do you want cleaned? Right, they have to do that because the gig is up, right? Man can get what man really will default position pick to get in an estrogen. All right, so training training estrogens, if you can get them to say, yes, sir, yes, master, yes, king, yes, lord, all those type of things, she's not going to have a problem cooking, cleaning, submitting, and she's going to know her role, and she's going to be the wife you actually want, a wife that follows the leadership of a man. Not because not she follows on Monday, but not Tuesday, because she doesn't want to do this on this day. No, 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 no. She always is following the lead of man. Sometimes anyone is wrong, all right? But 99% of the time, a man's going to be right more than you're going to be right, right? And it's more important that you follow his leadership, right or wrong, compared to if he was right or wrong. It's just the reality, especially if you've already determined he's smart. He's going to make, for the majority of the time, the right decisions. All right. A man appreciates an estrogen just following, not competing. That's just the reality. All right. If you enjoyed the video, the thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think down below. We have a lot of videos on the membership um, because over there, uh, like YouTube, ed editing is, you know, you, you got to edit to youtube's you know rules or whatever and things like that and they just make up some things and stuff like that so you got to keep editing and stuff like that so but the uncut verses before i like i have to really edit it if you know it went through a lot of the youtube stuff is on the membership all right so if you want to be up to date with certain videos before everyone else gets them uh it's over there and you can do video requests and things like that over there just so you know so if you're like man i want to see a, a video like this and where have they been probably on the membership waiting to get approved by the youtube right so yeah uh if you enjoyed the video the thumbs up, subscribe let me know what you guys think down below and i will see you guys later we out <gasps> peace come me the snowman ice cold with the hose man Need pussy no relation Then send them back to their boyfriends Come me the snowman Ice cold with the hose man Need pussy no relation Then send them back to their boyfriends Leave her chilly without jackets, I'm the snowman Call the squad, doing trains, we run slaves